Hi everyone, um, it's Stu Levy. I'm here to talk about my fifth week of Ironman training. Um, just want to give you everybody, a, you know, this weekly update. In Japanese, I'm actually doing daily, um, daily vlogs, vlogs, just to kind of track my own progress. And you know, if if this is interesting to anyone, that's great. If not, no, no problem, of course. And if that means nobody's watching, then nobody's watching. But for my own sake, at least, I'm able to kind of track things and then go over later. I hope um, 20 weeks, uh, 20 this 20 week plan, how sort of my progress was, and uh, it should be at least an interesting experience um, for me. So, um, just finished the fifth week, and today was the first day of the sixth week, and. I think my fifth week has um, come a long way from my fourth. I think I think my body, while I'm still very tired and exhausted, I feel like I am a little bit less so than in week four. In other words, my body's getting used to the the really hard training. I mean, the training is very hard. It's 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 not easy to explain the intensity of this uh, if you have not done it before. Um, you, you start with the base as an endurance athlete, meaning, you know, you've run marathons, you've done triathlons of, of lower distances, you know, so you, <clears throat> you know about endurance, but, um, so you have a base, but then you pile onto that, the intensity of a challenge that, at least in my case, my body has never known. I've, I was never a, um, a professional athlete, of course, and I wasn't even, a, an amateur athlete at school, so, the level of physical challenge that I'm putting my body through right now is pretty much a new experience. And um, first, it means I'm tired all the time. So, like right now, um, my blood, I literally feel. I also actually had a doctor's appointment today and they took like six things of blood. So, maybe that's part of it. But, but I do feel like my, my blood, um, it, it's heavy. You know, it feels like just the flow of the blood through the body, the blood's tired. Like, can your blood be tired? I think, if possible, my blood is tired. Um, my, all of my body's tired. My brain is tired. You know, it's, it's um, at the end of the day, typically, in a regular period of time for me, I would go, I would open up my computer, I would do emails. I can, I'm pretty much the energizer buddy. When, you know, other people are done with whatever, I can still get some work done. I can still, my brain can still function. But th these past five weeks, this Ironman training um, has really affected that ability as well. And when I'm at you know, the end of the day or even, you know, halfway through the day, I, when I, when I'm tired, when I open my computer, I don't even want to do email. I just want to gel out, you know, veg out or, or look at Facebook or like watch a video or just rest or do something or read articles, frankly, about training and, you know, stuff like that. Like, it's okay to take in knowledge, but for me to actually do work, you know, do emails, this kind of thing, it, it's, it's harder than it normally is. And so, so my work is suffering. Um, the Ironman training itself is not just a physical thing. It's this emotional challenge. And so um, five weeks out of 20, which means 25% of the way done. And the other day I was thinking, you know, if I had to do the Ironman this weekend, if I had to go out and do the, the full distances, the you know two and a half mile swim, the 112 um, mile, uh, finishing that, and then getting on my bike and riding for 112 miles, and then being exhausted but getting off my bike, and then you know with tired legs, with tired body, running and just not you know stopping or taking little breaks, but running the full 26 mile marathon, you know if I had to do that this weekend. I thought I could do it. And then yesterday, this weekend is, you know, every weekend is the intense um, workout. You've got one day of swimming and a long run and then another day of a long ride. And uh, usually the ride goes on Saturday and the swimming and the run goes on Sunday. But this weekend I actually flipped them uh, because it was Mother's Day on yesterday on Sunday. And I wanted to go and visit my mom. And so I made kind of a half a day of it and, and turned this long ride into – a ride here in LA um, through the mountains, through piece, down PCH, back over another mountain, and then into the valley and up to the North Valley where my, my mother lives, and ended the ride there, and then was able to spend the, the evening with her for dinner and that kind of thing. So to do that, I, I swapped the days. 
And it was also an experiment to see like what's it like swapping the days. And so, you know, the swim and the run on, on Saturday, you know, my long run was a 15 mile run on the beach. It was tough. I, I actually had a pretty long swim too. I think I had like 3000 meters and I didn't go immediately. I actually had some stuff I had to do. So I had a few hours in between, which actually I think made my, my, made my body even more tired when I started the run. Um, I don't know why, but a couple hours later, I think my body was ready to kind of like, we're done for the day, right? Let's take a break. Let's rest. But instead, I had to start this 15-mile run. And, and it was really tough, you know, running a, along the beach. I, I did it, but all, all along the way, at any point in time, I could have kind of given up. But I didn't. I hung in there. I let my willpower learn sort of on really, really tired, like, you know, body, what it will be like to kind of force yourself to run. Um, and you know, my pace was all right. It wasn't fast, but it, it, it was all right. And so I thought that was good training for the run after this long bike and the race. But then yesterday when I rode my bike and it was very bad winds, very, very gusty. Um, it, it was, um, it was, there were some major hills and the canyons up in Malibu. I took this thing called Ensenal Canyon and came down Decker Canyon and then rode all the way up to Ventura County. And then um, came back all the way down PCH to Topanga Canyon, rode over that. That was pretty tough. Uh, it was actually really tough. The wind was coming at me, headwinds, um, into the valley, and then rode to the other side of the valley. By the time I was done, I was beat. I was cooked. It was 82 miles, a little bit. I, took, I actually made a mistake in my route, and so I was a little bit shorter than I intended. But I was out of water. I was cooked. I was exhausted. I came in. And, you know, I, I was able to shower up, you know, take a bath, kind of get and spend the night with my mom, which is great. But the problem was I was thinking if I had to run a marathon right now, I, I don't know that I could do it. So these remaining 15 weeks of this plan, it'll be really be interesting to see how my body adapts. I feel like my body is adapting. Um, I'm getting stronger, but I'm still tired all the time. I don't have any energy left. I'm putting it all into this training. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm obviously risking injury still, but I, I'm going to keep trying to go with my instinct, switch some things around, try new things. Um, later this week, I fly to Japan and I bought this case. I got to figure out how to take apart my bike, put it in the case. So there's all these new things I'm going to be trying for this weekend. It's a, um, a week where they, they, they pull it back. Uh, it, it's a drop back week every third week. Is a little bit less mileage and then you go up again so it's like you know one two and then the third you pull back and then one two and the third you pull back so this week there's a little bit less mileage um, to do so in Tokyo when I get there I actually the, the, I arrive I fly in that night and then the next morning I'm planning on riding 50 uh, if I could figure out how to put my bike down back together so we'll see um, that'll be its own challenge and we'll see how my body adjusts um, the weather will be very different it's nice and arid desert type uh, warm temperatures here in LA. It'll be, I'm sure, pretty humid, um, not quite as hot, um, but different in Tokyo. So next week when I do this video, I will, you know, report on that. I'll be in Tokyo and we'll see how it went. But that's my week five uh, update. Um, Ironman training. Um, feeling pretty good, uh, tired, but hanging in there. So uh, that's the update. Uh